Well, the Golden Globes were last night, and while we know who took home statues for their acting, who took home the gold for best dressed? Here to break down her favorite looks is editor in chief of Spotlight Magazine, Sydney Sadik. Welcome back, Sydney. Thank you. Great to be here. It's good to see you. You know, we love talking fashion here, and the Golden Globes never disappoints, really. There's usually some hits and misses, but what was your overall feeling, overall themes of the carpet last night? Well, first of all, so exciting that the Globes carpet is back after yes. a year hiatus, and the celebrities you could tell were really excited excited to be there. Tons of sequins, lots of bold colors from pinks and purples, of course some classic black as well, but really this was one of the best Golden Globes carpets that we have seen in decades. So a great yeah, glamour was back for sure, you know, starting with Jennifer Coolidge who was all in black and it wasn't her first choice, right? That's true. So she was a winner of the night and she really did win on the style front as well. This is how you go in a really great little black dress here. This is a sequin Dolce & Gabbana gown off the shoulder with that cold shoulder strap, which really just gives it a a little bit more of that fun and flirty vibe, which is yeah. so Jennifer. And this is really special because these sequins are embellished with crystals, which really gives it that bejeweled effect. Her speech was amazing. Her look was amazing. We love her. I, I know you don't her. too. I, know. I do. Jenna Ortega looked fantastic in Gucci. She did. So this was Jenna's very first Golden Globes. And I love this dress because it really was Grecian inspired. The cutouts in the center were very youthful. She's 20 years old. She's having fun with it. And the train is just really beautiful. The Tiffany jewels, such a great way to add that extra element of glamour. We're going to be seeing a lot of her. She wasn't a winner, obviously, last night. Yeah. But she definitely hit home on the fashion front. And I can't wait to see more of her. She sure did. And Michelle Yeoh, who I can't believe just turned 60 last year. Can you believe something. it? Yeah. She looks amazing. Yeah. She's yeah. stunning. She was really beautiful in this gorgeous Armani Privé midnight blue strapless gown. This was one of my favorites. She looked like a winner. I mean, the star yeah. was nominated for six awards. She wore this dress and truly just stunned. All of the sequins, multiple layers, the bracelets, she killed it. And Julia Garner, I thought, looked fantastic too. And she's so, got such a beautiful face that that short hair looks so great on her. The hair was very Madonna inspired and this is another Gucci moment. Gucci really hit it out of the park last night. The pink is beautiful, a huge color, all of the Loved embellishments it. on this. Tool was a huge trend, by the way. It was all of the things in one look. Yeah, she looked fantastic. Cheryl Lee Ralph also looked amazing. She did. I think one of the best dressed stars, Sarah, of the night in yeah. this incredible dress by Elliot. Her daughter has been helping her style her throughout award season. She thanked her on the red carpet. Oh. Purple looks so beautiful on her. Her glam, the hair, the eyes, everything looks so perfect yeah. from head to toe. I really think she is one of the best dressed of the night, like I said. I mean, I have to think that Billy Porter is one of the best dressed too, and his Christian, uh, Christian Siriano. He's kind of created this whole new genre of like red carpet wear. He really has, and has become such a huge muse for Christian Siriano. He's really loyal to Christian, and we always see these incredible tuxedos done in such a Billy way. The train obviously being the highlight and the main feature here of this fashion story. The bow tie and the color of everything just in this beautiful kind of magenta hot pink such hue. A beautiful color. And the shoes, I mean, just a great way in the platforms. This is such a Billy look, and we get to see all his different, you know, versions of his tuxedo looks each award show, and I can't wait to see what we see next from and him. And he's become one of the people that you I like, can't wait to see on the carpet. Totally. Yeah. He's a risk taker. Yes. Uh, Jessica Chastain, I have to say this Oscar de la Renta was to die for. The internet is saying that this was the best dressed look of the night, and I agree. It's a real spider woman kind of an aesthetic here, right? Yeah. A spider web in a circular shape going from wide to narrow into the middle of the dress. She kept her jewelry really simple here. There's really barely because anything the dress on her is, is jewelry on its because own. Because the dress, yeah. exactly, <laughs> Sarah, is like wearing a diamond on its own. She looks beautiful and just truly epitomizes what it means to be a Hollywood starlet. She, she really, amazing. really did. Thank you so much for breaking it down today. Thank you. Be sure to follow Sydney on social media for info on the next edition of Spotlight.